Hey, 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 Pisces. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Tuesday, July 7th to the 8th intuitive love tarot read. This is for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you guys today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Pisces, if you would, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your like, shares, and subscriptions. Also, don't forget to comment. Let me know if this video resonates with you. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, the information can be found in the description box below. I'm going to get a couple cards and then a channeled message for you. Oops, from Spirit. And there we have it. We have the Death card. We have the Six of Wands. We have the Ten of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Wheel of Fortune. All right, let's see what your message is from Spirit today, Pisces. They're saying be prepared. All right, there they go again. I was connecting with your energy while I was shuffling the cards, right? And what they gave me then was being politically correct. Because I said, what is Pisces energy like? And they're saying like appropriated, like appropriate, um, politically correct. And they just said conservatism. Um, so I'm not quite sure who this is for. But they're wanting you to loosen up. Because I'm like, that's not Pisces. That's not like Pisces anyway. But you feel the need to be this way right now. And they're wanting you to open up. They're wanting you to, you know, let your guard down. It's not needed. This appropriateness. This, you know, being politically correct. Because they're saying you're not being you. This is coming up. Yeah. <laughs> they're showing me somebody splashing in the water. They're wanting you to get into the ocean if you can. Into water. You are the fishes. Right? Because this is going to connect you with yourself. This is going to remind you of you. Of who you are. It's also going to connect you with the, with the um, child within their say. So go have some fun, Pisces, and loosen up. And fuck all this politically correct bullshit. Alright? So stop it. All right. Yeah, you're, you know what? Yeah, I know what this is. Okay. So you've got the Queen of Swords over the death card. You're transforming yourself, right? So I feel like you're trying on all these shoes. It's like you're going shopping. You're trying on all these outfits. Do I want to be this? Nah, I don't know. Do I want to be this? Which is fine, because you may want to take a little bit of this from here and a little bit of that from there and then combine it into your own you, right? So you're searching for this transformation. But in the middle of this transformation, you know, Spirit's saying you, you need to just release. You need to just let go and be you. Okay? Try on these outfits. Try on these, you know, masks if you will but don't get so engrossed in them don't embed yourself so much in them that you lose yourself remember why you're doing it okay you're you're searching for who you are okay so you're just trying them on you're not buying them you're not buying any of these masks okay you're trying them on Yeah, you're wanting abundance, you're wanting happiness, and you know that it starts with self, 
right? And so this is where you're starting with this inner transformation. Spirit saying, don't forget the spiritual side of you, the magician. Yeah, you're wanting to manifest a new you. Clarifying the death card, which is Scorpio, right? The Ten of Swords and the Fool card. Look at that. Yeah. You can't forget to let some shit go. Okay? You can try on all these masks, right? And figure out who you want to be. But when it comes down to it, there is no, you're not going to be happy until you look at the things that you need to look at. And feel the things that you need to deal with okay with this ten of swords that's betrayal that's lying that's backstabbing you've been hurt pisces okay and it's okay to feel it's okay to look at it right because then you will be free you will find true freedom within that so don't forget the inside as well as the outside ten of pentacles yeah three of pentacles so you're wanting to build, you're rebuilding. That's what I'm feeling with you. You're rebuilding. You're, you, some of you could be building um, a business. Ten of Cups is clarifying the Six of Wands. You could also, some of you could be seen in the public eye. And you're sort of, that may be why you're revamping yourself. But again, who the fuck cares if you're seen in the public eye? Who cares? Be you. Don't be somebody you think everybody wants to see. There's only one you. Okay. Clarify this one more time. Eight of Cups. Walk away from what no longer serves you. I.E. What you believe people want you to be. Stop it. Okay. Be you. Let your light shine. Because it's a beautiful one, Pisces. It's a beautiful one. Alright, so advice here for Pisces. Advice. Ace of Wands. What lights your fire, Pisces? What are you passionate about? Hmm? What makes your heart go pitter-patter? I have another advice card, please, for Pisces. Ray of Cups. Celebrate the parts of you, okay, that light you up. Celebrate these passions, okay? Get out and date as well, they're saying. You may be afraid of getting hurt because I do see there may have been a third party situation in the past. What are your wishes? Okay. And have you healed the parts of yourself, i.e. this, okay, to clear the way for wishes coming true? Because there is something with this star card. Again, you've got the star card here. You may be seen in the public eye. Um, with this, once you clear the way, you're opening up a whole new world for yourself. Okay? Because you're going to feel free. You're going to feel so fucking free. I can't even tell you. You've got, look at all these tens here. One, two, three. You've got three tens. Is that all the tens? Okay, tens are indicative of ending one cycle to begin another. There is a fresh new beginning for you. Okay, it's like I feel like you were you were awesome before. You were shining before and now you're going to be like glowing. Talk about a glow up. This is like wow. If you follow the true you, Okay, the true you, not what you think everybody else wants. You need to follow you. You're an original, Pisces. You got to maintain that. Maintain you. Five of Cups. You've got to focus on these two of Cups that are there. This love that's there. 
okay? Because there is a Two of Cups waiting for you. There is a soulmate twin flame connection that is there. You just can't see it right now. I feel this is where your heart is, as it, where your heart space is as far as romance goes, Pisces, okay? But once you transform and once you express the true you and become the true you and step into you, okay this is going to be right around the corner not this not the five of cups the two of cups <laughs> okay at the bottom of the deck we have the hermit card absolutely virgo energy go within this is a great time to go within pisces because mercury is retrograde and that's all about communicating with the self communicate with that higher self also your planet neptune is retrograde i believe it's retrograde so Neptune is about illusions, okay? You're going to see things a lot more clear. You're going to see things clearly right now, especially regarding yourself, okay? So stay true to you, and love will find you. All right, Pisces, I hope that helped. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your needs and your questions, the information to my Etsy shop can be found in the description box below. You have yourself a fantastic day, Pisces, and I will talk to you next time. Namaste.